My name is Anthony Backmund. I'm the CEO of Kuniko. I'm based in Norway, uh, which is where I call home these days, uh, having recently returned from Western Australia. I did first come to Norway in 2008 uh, when I started uh, with what was a two-year plan at the time, uh, working with the Sibiranga Iron Project. But 12 years later, I returned to Perth. So though it, as it turns out, I'm not done with Norway and Norway's not yet done with me. So here I am again and very proud to be with Kuniko. So I have a strong affection uh, for the Scandinavian mining industry and a tremendous respect for the people that I've worked with over the many years here, as well as the Norwegian community I've lived in, which at the risk of generalizing, I characterize as being independent yet open-minded, having a strong drive to succeed and an ability to deliver innovative solutions, especially when the stakes are high. To some extent, that description feels familiar when I talk about Kuniko and our objectives. We're a young company recently born from a demerger of ASX listed Vulcan Energy Resources to focus on the development of our battery metals projects here in Norway, which include copper, nickel, cobalt, all key elements to the lithium ion battery cathode. At the same time, our mandate is to target a net zero carbon footprint in our future mining processes and thereby make an important contribution towards delivering, delivering truly sustainable materials for the European battery market. Across this decade, European battery manufacturing capacity is expected to increase with more than 500 gigawatts to be able to support the demands for electric vehicles. This translates into a significant increase in the annual requirements for delivery to Europe of cobalt, nickel and copper. Major drivers for this increased battery capacity in Europe include political and climate objectives, where electromobility plays a critical role in the shift towards a lower emission society. While it seems counterintuitive to achieve a greener society and meet lower carbon targets, this does require more metals and more mining, which is why some, some commentators refer to the period we're in now as being a green stone age. With those battery metal requirements for Europe and based on current emissions per tonne of material produced, that amounts to approximately 10 million tonnes of, of CO2 emissions per annum. However, in the next five years, EU regulations are slated to introduce carbon intensity performance class labels for lithium ion batteries, where from 2027, batteries produced must be in compliance with established carbon footprint thresholds. It's with these factors at play that Kuniko recognises the need to commit toward a zero carbon footprint in its own future activities. This is not only going to be desirable, but ultimately it's the sustainable course of action. With this shift towards lower CO2 emissions across all industries, there currently remains an unresolved pain point, being the lack of ethically sourced materials to support the green shift and the growing mineral demands of the battery industry. I am sure many of you are familiar with the ESG type surveys that are required these days on an ongoing basis for customers, financiers and investors demonstrating the supply of products have been ethically and responsibly sourced and produced. This will also be necessary for battery metals where battery manufacturers will be required by EU regulation de to demonstrate they are sourcing raw materials responsibly. Further, EU governance requirements related to carbon footprint and responsible sourcing of raw materials will also require third party verification, generating for each battery produced a digital passport tracking all the components. Strong governance credentials will therefore become extremely, extremely relevant in the responsible supply and sourcing of raw materials and production of batteries going forward. It is with this context that Kuniko's strategy has been developed, which in essence is about being in the right place at the right time 
with the right projects being developed by the right people. Our plans are to progress the development of our battery metal projects in Scandinavia for the growing battery industry in this region with a strong focus on developing our own ESG credentials. With our activities based in the EEU, where there is a strong regulatory framework and active support for achieving lower emission objectives, this will ensure minerals developed in the region are ethically sourced and we can, we can firmly commit to targeting a net zero carbon footprint in our future activities. This will be supported with our current projects being in Norway uh, and being able to utilise renewable hydroelectricity where Norway produces approximately 95% of its power from hydropower. Furthermore, Scandinavia has a track record for the use of electrification in mining processes. And there are also a number of companies, particularly in Sweden, that are at the forefront of providing electrified mining equipment solutions, such as ABB, Sandvik, Epirock, Atlas Copco. We do, however, recognise that we'll need to measure our carbon footprint as we develop our projects, and we'll also engage with partners that can bring to the table innovative solutions to support us achieving our goals. Our current projects are located in Norway, where we have a number of exploration licences for battery metals, including copper, nickel and cobalt, covering approximately 263 square kilometres. Norway also hosts uh, cobalt and nickel refining facilities in country, which would be well suited to accept locally sourced raw materials. Uh, also, many of you will know Norway is a pioneer with the highest adoption of electric vehicles per capita across the globe. It also has a large maritime fleet and due to its leading role in decarbonisation of the maritime industry, Norway has seen strong growth in both zero emission initiatives, as well as the development of its battery industry. With this, Norway has become the global test bed for green solutions to the world. While traditionally Norway has relied on oil production for its source of wealth, there has been recognition both at social and political levels of the need to diversify into other industries. And here, the exploration and mining sector provides such an opportunity. Blessed with an abundant variety of minerals, Norway does have a long and proud history of mining and production of raw materials and refined products. While previously in the shadows, mining in the region is increasingly being seen not only as a means of diversification and future employment, especially in regional areas, but also as a means by which to ensure minerals utilised in achieving sustainability goals, climate objectives, and more generally supporting a high quality of life is done so in a responsible and ethical manner. Consequently, a common and recurring theme of battery manufacturing coming on stream in the region is around sustainability where companies such as Freya and Morrow stress the requirement for high standards of ethically sourced materials and re a requirement for low to zero carbon footprint. They are especially favourable to sourcing the needs for materials from the Nordics, ensuring the materials are not only ethically sourced, but their production is based on renewable energy sources. This sentiment is not a trend, it is the reality which provides confirmation that Kuniko's strategy, where Norway is a natural fit and Kuniko is a catalyst to push the green agenda into the exploration and mining sector here. With the rapid growth occurring in the European and Scandinavian battery manufacturing segment, Kuniko with its projects in Norway is strategically well positioned. We're not just on the doorstep of the industry, we're in fact in the same room. So we're definitely in the right place. Turning to the fundamentals for COBOL, we recognise an increasing demand from battery applications, a supply imbalance forecast across the next decade, while also acknowledging the majority of the COBOL supply currently comes from the DRC. 
with the exponential growth in electric vehicles combined with both ESG concerns and future EU regulations, there is a compelling argument for the ex exploration and development of our co projects in Norway to target sustainable and ethically sourced material. As my chairman would say, the best place to find a new mine is to start with an old one. And that is exactly what Kuniko is doing. With exploration licenses covering approximately 52 square kilometres around the area of the historic Skuterud cobalt mine and covering a nine kilometre length of historic cobalt workings. With over 100 years of mining in the area, in its day, Skuterud was the world's largest cobalt producer and Norway's largest company, having produced around 1 million tonnes of cobalt. With nickel, the outlook is also favourable towards new projects. With an undersupply market forecast combined with increasing application of nickel for the battery sector. However, we also recognise the CO2 intensity of nickel production. So here we'll need to be at the forefront of pushing the green shift, uh, which in part can be supported by Norway's hydropower, but we'd also need to develop this further uh, and align ourselves with partners and innovators to drive towards our targeted net zero carbon footprint. We have two nickel projects in Norway, being Fairoy and Romsus. Initially, our focus will be on the Fair Oil project, which is a combined nickel, nickel copper deposit and has some historical production. Grades in the area are around 2.6% copper and 2.1% nickel, which makes it a promising prospect. Both of these projects, like others in the Kuniko portfolio, have virtually no modern exploration despite historical production. Kuniko will be working to leverage these areas and explore them with modern techniques to generate potential targets and ultimately define resources. For copper, again, we recognise that electromobility is a fundamental driver of demand and copper plays a key role in the EV revolution. This combined with the imminent needs for ethically sourced sustainable supplies with a low carbon footprint frames the proposition for Kuniko to develop its projects in Norway. We currently have three copper projects, Van Grofta, Undal and Nieberger. All have had some amounts of historical production, uh, though again, no modern exploration. All have respectable grades and in some cases, grade indications, which are very attractive. Following our listing, we immediately embarked on our initial exploration activities. This month, we initiated an airborne geophysics program over the Skudrud, Bangrofta and Undal project areas. The aerial survey work has just been completed. So we are now compiling the data captured and expect to be able to update the market with the results during October. The geophysics data set will be integrated with our new and historic geochemical data sets, enabling us to identify drill targets for next year's activities. In addition to the airborne geophysics, we were able to successfully complete a program of geochemical sampling in the field across the Skuderud and Van Grofta project areas during August and September. We've collected around 1,200 samples of rock and soil, uh, during that campaign, and we anticipate to share those analytical results during October. With the new data set, we can expand on our geochemical analysis with the aim of defining drill targets. Here you can see some information on our corporate structure where we are well capitalised for our current and future exploration activities. Uh, Vulcan remains the largest shareholder around 25% and Kuniko continues to enjoy a good relationship with Vulcan, which may prove beneficial uh, in the future and offer synergies, given we're both in the zero carbon battery metal space and focused on European markets. At the same time, however, Kuniko is its own entity and given the success of the demerger, we are focused on unlocking value through implementing our copper, nickel and cobalt strategy. 
And to implement the right strategy in the right place at the right time, we are supported by the right people. We have Gavin Rezos as our chair, also chair of Vulcan, and he has overseen the growth of companies from startups through to being in the ASX 300. We have Maya with her legal background and experience working with other late ASX listed companies. She's strong in governance and compliance. Brendan, he's a specialist in battery metals and has held both exec and non-exec roles with other listed developers and producers. Birgit is here with me in Norway. Uh, she's a successful entrepreneur and very well recognized across Norway for her work in sustainability and innovation uh, with strong ties that will be able to assist us in the country. We also have myself. I have some 25 years experience working in financial, commercial, exec roles across mining, across a variety of commodities and developing different projects uh, while also having worked some 12 years in Norway uh, with both uh, Northern Iron and Sibranga project. Well, I'm also on the board of Nordic Mining here in Norway. Uh, in addition to the board, we have a, a highly experienced uh, team of geologists that have assisted with the execution of our initial exploration programs. All have been hands-on and thus far a tremendous support to getting Kunako off to a great start. And to finish with, uh, According to Norwegian poet Jean Dalby, the present age is always the Stone Age, with society constantly building on its past achievements and progressing towards the future, which soon makes our modern life history. For us, we find ourselves in a green stone age, and we at Kuniko will be working hard to make a meaningful history with our battery metal projects here in Scandinavia. Thank you.